Hello and welcome back to the Green Workbench. It's been a while and we should have some more videos coming soon. Uh, I apologize for that. We've been in the middle of a move, um, but we should have some great videos coming up. Uh, we're purchasing an old house, so we'll be restoring and uh, remodeling. So we'll have some videos there. But today we are going to talk about restoring and refinishing this old antique table that was meant for a water basin. Um, this table we found in was in a garage, it had like cans of oil sitting on it, dirt, dust. Um, it was pretty nasty. So the first thing I did, um, it was so bad that I actually used a pressure washer and sprayed it down. Um, you want to be careful doing that um, because you can release some of the joints and the glue um, and you can get some warping. So I sprayed it down and quickly dried it off but it was so bad that there was no way that I was going to be able to get it all by just scraping it had to be cleaned off uh, so I pressure washed it and then you can see here um, that it was in pretty bad shape so I scraped it down um, try to get the dirt off some of the old bubbling finish um, these spindled legs um, were difficult to scrape and, and get around but I just did it as carefully as I could um, to try to get everything that was scrapable, all the dirt um, and flakes and, and everything off of it. Um, and then I worked on gluing all the pieces that were coming apart. So you see here this uh, rounded handle, I actually had to glue and drill a dowel into it because it was starting to split and the only way to keep it strong was to drill that dowel and, and glue. Um, and then you can see that I began sanding, sanded everything down as well as I could. Um, the spindle, that can take forever to sand. Um, so I did it best I could. And to kind of cover that up, the finish I used was a polyurethane. And you can see the dowel there on the left. Um, but I used a polyurethane that had a stain built into it. And I wanted to hide some of the... Um, you know, it still looked old, so I, want, I wanted to be able to hide some things but still make it look good. So I used a pretty thick coat of this um, polyurethane slash stain. Um, and it actually turned out really beautiful because it has this antique type finish to it. Um, and the coloring is really deep and it, it worked out really well. So with a little elbow grease and scraping and sanding um, and then using the right finish, you can really make an antique and bring it back to life and instead of storing oil on it now it can be a prized piece in a bathroom or bedroom or even your living room uh, so let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching and i'll catch you next time on the green workbench